Good afternoon. I'm Trisha. I'm George. And we're reselling with the Clarks. Today we have a haul. We went to the Goodwill Bins earlier this week and we're going to show you some of the items we got. Our bins here in Virginia are $1.29 a pound if you buy more than 20 pounds. I believe it's $1.39 yeah. a pound if you buy under 20. And our shoes and uh, hard good items are priced at a different level. Our shoes are $3 for adults, $2 for children's, and our hard goods are $0.79 cents a pound. I believe belts have a different price, but I'm not sure on that. And also our purses are $3 a pound, or $3 an item, I believe. Right. So we have some hard goods, shoes, purses, all of the above, I guess. And this may take a few different videos, so we may have multiple parts. So we hope you'll stay tuned. A little bit George, of money can, and a lot of stuff. <laughs> you can go ahead and start if you'd like. Um, I like to collect the hats. So what I found was a, a Thai Realty from Hawaii hat. And uh, I don't know. I thought it was pretty cool that somebody out there might like something from Hawaii or not. Uh, also got this other hat. It's, um, where is it, Carolina, Carolina Bulldogs or something like that? It was Carolina something. I wrote it down, but I'm not. I'm not remembering now what the name was. Carolina something. It's a minor baseball league. Some like a catfish on there, so it's Carolina catfishes or something. It's a minor. I think league, it's mud cats. If mud I remember cats, right. yeah. Carolina I thought that mud was cats. a pretty pretty good find. Um, then then I found this uh, truth or dare box of questions. It's a game that the uh, kids family could use, and I looked it up. It's Roughly, uh, we paid by the pound for this, but it's roughly about uh, $10. 15, I thought it was 15 to $20 a pound uh, on eBay. I th I'm thinking it's somewhere around $10, $15. I also got these, um, these uh, some people like these things from what I was reviewing and researching. These are sewing patterns, and uh, if I'm not mistaken, I seen one online where the guy said that they had like, hundreds of these things and they sold for a hundred dollars so i'm not sure what i'll get for these i think i have uh, eight here but i caught my mind when i seen them so i grabbed them and put them out there and see what happens they look vintage so they may bring in a little more the uh i picked up a couple pairs of shoes while we were there i got these really cute ed hardy slip-on canvas shoes they're selling between 20 and 40 online i like to pick up the ed hardy stuff it's guess like a tattoo style they call it all their designs have a lot of bright bold mix mix sign designs on it so I picked up these I've got a couple other items from Ed Hardy and they do pretty well on eBay and like I said our shoes are three dollars a pair I like them I think they're pretty neat they got like the little patchwork on them and the little fray strings off them I think that's cool and then I got this kids pair of boots they're really cute teal I know the season's coming up the fall and winter and these are L.L. Bean, a little girl size one. I've not really sold a lot of L.L. Bean. We have sold, I believed, a pair of blue jeans. And they do pretty well, the L.L. Bean products. And these were in, like, new conditions. So, I'm hoping to get 15 well, like out of them. Or... Yeah, they're like a suede and they're a real pretty teal color. And then I picked up, I picked up these. I weren't sure if our kids would use them. They're just the scuncy hair clips. But I actually looked them up just I can to use see. them on my hair, maybe. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Um, I, I scanned them just really to see nice. since they had the barcode on them and actually they're selling like eight bucks if you have a couple packs and I pick these up frequently so I may hang on to them until we get a couple and sell them or as a lot. Or maybe use them in my goat teeth. I don't oh, know. there you yeah. go. And then I picked up a pair of pantyhose. I have not picked these up before or sold them before but I've seen different ones selling them and these scanned about 15 bucks so we'll see what happens. I guess I'll know whether I should get them again or not. Do you have some more stuff over there? Yeah, I got a few things. Uh, these here shoes, they're in pretty decent shape. They're um, Reebok. Reebok? Yeah. They're like a light blue, uh, lime green shoelaces. Uh, they fl say Flexagon. Looks like a running shoe. They're in pretty shoe. decent shape. I mean, the sole has a white blue color to it. Um, the insides look pretty good. Um, I mean, they've got memory tech. Uh, sole on them and they feel comfortable pretty soft. I'm not sure we didn't comp these but they were in pretty good shape they need wiped off but they're in pretty good shape so we thought we'd pick them up and try. We'll try them. I have um, 
I don't know why I grabbed this. It was in the bins with the clothes, but it's a white face powder. From Hot Topic. From Hot Topic. And I'm, I guess I put it on $5, something like that. Um, oh, Halloween's just around get. the corner. But we'll try it. Then I have two more items, and I'll let you put some more up. But I, I found, I don't know why, but I found one in our storage locker we bought a while back. A bottle opener from Hawaii. So... I looked them up, and they're not going for bad prices. I mean, 10 15 some are a lot more. But I found this uh, bottle opener. It's like a tiki uh, statue type thing. And I don't know, I what guess. What was the other one we had? It was It's it magnetic a, was, as well, so. Was it for a wine bottle, the Something other one like we it, had? Yeah. I thought it'd be good to lot together, since they're both Hawaiian um, souvenir-style items. And... One's a bottle opener. I think the other one's a wine opener. So we'll probably put those together for maybe 15 or 20. It looked like they're going, the different bottle openers and souvenir style like that from Hawaii were going for 15 to $20. Yeah. Then I found this um, Harry and David spreaders, like cheese spreader. And they have like fish on the handles. So I'm, I'm assuming you probably get maybe 10 bucks for it. If that's, so I don't know what I'm going to list it for. I'll have to look up the comps. But that's another item I got. And I picked up a couple of accessories. I picked up this belt by YM, YMI, and I, it reminds me of the Ed Hardy designs, but I know the tattoo style thing seems to do really well. I'm not sure what we'll get out of that. But um, I also picked up a couple other belts. This one's a gold, and it's a one-size-fits-all. Um, Looks like a necklace. Not real gold, just a gold style. With the, It's got the part that hangs, that it is adjustable, one, and it hangs down. So I thought that was really cute. And they had one in silver, just a little bit different style. Sorry about that. And um, these, these uh, I think we pick pay a dollar for belts, if I'm remembering correctly, at our bins. And those sell pretty decent. I may lot them together. I haven't decided yet. And then um, I also picked up this vintage tie. It's a really wide one. I've not heard of this brand. It's International Collection. It's woven in Italy, and it was sold at JCPenney's. It has some really neat detail on the inside here, too. But we pick up ties frequently, and they seem to sell between 10 to 20. Some of the really unique ones by, like, Gary Garcia and different ones sell really high. Um, more in the 25 to $30 mark. But typically, we sell them around 8 to $15. So if we get see them at the bins, we definitely pick them up. Right. What do you have left over there? Well, a lot of clothes. <laughs> well, I have a couple purses we can show. Um, this one, I've not heard of this brand. It's called Tig Tignanello. I'm not really sure. I'll try to show you that. It's, it's genuine leather. It has a really nice satin style lining. It's in really good shape. It doesn't, it's not dirty or torn. Or anything like that. I just thought it was a cute, simple handbag. It has the magnetic closure. And um, I'm not sure. I'm hoping maybe in the $15 range. But I'm not really sure on that. And then, oh, we did pick up this. We picked up another hat. George likes Go to... Heart. He likes to sell heart, baseball heart. hats, beanie hats, any type of hat. And this was a child youth size. But it was... In the 79 cents a pound, but I figured the Carhartt, those seem to, Carhartt brand seems to do pretty well. And then I picked up this purse. It's new with tags. I've not heard of this brand, but it's Mona B. And it, from what I'm reading on the tag, it sounds like they do a lot of recycled material. And I just thought it was a cute, to me it was a hobo-y style. And, um, new with tags, so I thought we'd give that a try. I have a couple more bags over here. This one's just a Mexican blanket style bag with the bright colored strap also. That may end up getting confiscated by my daughter. She really liked that one when she seen it. This is also just another simple purse. This is by Massimo. And it's, I guess it's not genuine leather. I thought it was. It's a real soft leather like material. Just a cute little handbag. But I have three daughters that live at home. Yeah, and they're, they're from 11 to 17, so who knows how many of these bags will actually end up on our store. This last, this is the last bag I have. Um, actually, it's my favorite, though. This is a vintage Minnie and Mickey Mouse. This is all beaded on the front. It's yeah. in pretty good shape. It's got a little bit of 
where. imperfections and wear on the inside, but I don't think you can see it on camera, but I thought it was in very good shape for the age of it. I'm not sure exact age, but there is a stamping here that shows it's from Walt Disney. Um, it doesn't have a year, but you can tell with the style that it's a, you know, an older, at least vintage age. So, and it's, it's real good shape. There's no ripping or anything like that on the outside. Nothing that looks damaged on the outside. Like I said, there is a little wear on the inside, so I'm not sure how well that'll do, but we thought we'd pick that up. I think that's everything up to clothing. Um, so I think we'll actually end this video here and do the clothing on another haul. Um, and, and actually that might take a couple hauls. So I will, did you have anything else to say, George? It's better to keep my mouth shut. <laughs> Hey, I've I learned been training, that a long I've been time training ago. him well. Um, it only took me 63 years to learn that, but yeah, yeah. Is that what it was? Yeah. Well, we, um, I don't even know. I lost my train of thought. Must be getting old. We, um, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button at the bottom. And if you'd like to see future, our future videos coming hit the up, subscribe. And the bell button so you'll be notified when we post our next video. We will catch you on the flip side. God bless.